Hello guys and welcome to the Mr. All Games Zero gameplay. I'm Amanda and today I'll be covering uh, a short uh, footage of the game called Tower War. Tower Wars, pardon. It's developed by Supervillain Studios and uh, published as well by them. It uh, was released back in 14 August 2012, but uh, due to the sale that was just yesterday on Steam, I decided to put it up and show you that uh, the game worth uh, like three to four bucks uh, can actually be good. So what is Tower Wars anyway? It's basically what it says. Uh, if you ever played any uh, TD map on uh, War, uh, Warcraft 3 or Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne, you pretty much know what it's about. You're creating towers around the map to stop the creeps from reaching a certain point uh, of area. Now, uh, there are some simple uh, ways to do that, but uh, this game focuses on the more uh, f uh, open way where you can actually create mazes uh, to slow down the progress of the creatures you were supposed to kill. Now, the game is heavily focused towards the online mode. Uh, survival has three maps, uh, single player has like only one map as well as co-op, while the multiplayer also have like, uh, also has like three four maps, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I read on the forum from one of the developers of the game that they will soon be releasing community content on the Steam Workshop, so you should really check out for the new maps, uh, perhaps even new modes and uh, stuff like that. Anyway, let's, uh, today I'll be covering only single player because I really really suck at multiplayer. I played only one game and the guy beat me so hard that I really, really don't want to go through that experience again. Now I'll go through the survival, it's called Classic TV. As you can see my best times, uh, I'll go with the one I haven't played before because uh, why the hell not? This one is quite easy, it's basically... Uh, square between two areas where you can create a maze and stop the creatures from getting into your base. Now, uh, of course, with uh, any type of tower uh, defense maps, uh, as you go on ahead it gets really really hard and then you, you need to replace your previously built towers uh, to make room for newer ones, right? But uh, we'll talk about that more as uh, we enter the game, so let's just click play. Oh! I was supposed to click this one play here, okay, let's see. I haven't played this map before, so bear with me as I make many mistakes. I personally loved tower defense maps in the Warcraft 3 mode, I've played uh, at least hundreds of them, uh, literally throughout the course of like 5 to 6 years, and uh, I even made few of them even though they sucked. So uh, I'm really big sucker for these types of games, even though I'm not that into them uh, when they they just can't capture really that feeling that I had while playing uh, Warcraft 3 because most of them actually lack content uh, and Tower Wars is not an uh, exception, don't get me wrong uh, it only features like 8 towers and maximum of 2 additional upgrades on each tower and with the really small dose of maps it, it's not something that you will play for let's say hours and hours it's something that you will turn on from time to time just to check what the uh, what the game has to offer yet again. Now, uh, graphics in the game are quite astonishing, I must say. Uh, the game is really detailed and uh, I like that. I like to see some uh, cool details in the these types of games. For instance, animations of the towers attacking are all different, they're all cool, and they all actually work, so let's just quickly get ready. As you can see, this blue indicator shows where the enemy creatures will spawn. Now, from there, I'll try to create a maze, even though I'm not that good at it yet. So basically, you click on the square and you create your towers. Now, as you can see, when you block one path, creatures will open to another one. Now, I can't uh, build anything more. So basically, this is the entire game. You build more towers for each new round and more creatures spawn with each new round. So that's basically how it goes. Let's build, okay, I can build a cannon. Now, as you can see, there are eight types of towers. There's arrow, cannon, catapult, uh, this uh, kind of uh, lightning stuff, and wind, and uh, there's a bunch of them, really. But uh, you'll be using, uh, like, maximum of four of them, because you really don't need to use that much of the towers. 
Okay, and creatures are passing by, how wonderful, and I can create a shit. As I said before, I'm not that good in these types of games, so you'll forgive me if I suck. Uh, because I will, I know I will, that's something I I tend to do. And uh, sorry again for that. As you can see, this is the castle, this is the reaching point where the uh, creatures need to go and destroy it. Uh, as everything else on the game, castle is also upgradable. Uh, maximum 33 levels of each defense and a turret that is attack. Now I'm supposed to start kind of upgrading my towers because just building lo uh, low level towers won't get you far, trust me. And these arrow uh, aura towers are only good for like first 10 or 12 rounds per se. Then you will start building uh, these lightning things and cannons and catapults pretty soon after. But it's good to upgrade the uh, arrow towers because they gain much more speed and uh, actually solid attack damage. Now, I probably won't last for like 15 minutes, uh, but uh, I'll try to explain as much as I can in those first 15 minutes of the game without boring you to death. Uh, performance of the game is quite uh, good actually. It uh, runs, uh, runs smoothly, you want to... I, I actually I didn't notice that many glitches yet. Okay, let me just build another though. Okay, this is not... this is too hard, I swear, this is too hard. I'm supposed to be creating maze, but uh, I actually can't get any... Okay, I have a gold for an upgrade and the maximum cannon. As I said, the game runs pretty smoothly and uh, the graphics, as you can see, saw, are pretty solid. You can zoom in, there's a lot of details on turrets, uh, you can basically see everything. You see these animation attacks, uh, they're all pretty cool. As it comes from this for, for the sound, the uh, voice acting is pretty decent actually and funny at times. But aside from that, it's um, it's pretty standard stuff, you know, nothing nothing mind blowing, nothing that will and that will, you know, blow your mind away or something like that. It's just simple. If they break one more time. You'll be using probably catapults the most because they have a huge range and uh, well placed the uh, Around the tower boost damage, uh, which is a multiplicator, they deal tons of that AOE damage, and you'll probably be using most of them, as you can see. The, he, uh, the tower can fire from up here to down here, killing like three or four guys instantly. Now, as I suck in this game, and uh, it's really hard to talk while actually playing it, I'll, I'll try to explain as much as I can, So, but forgive me because I probably want to. Managed to do. Okay, I just sold my turret for some god awful mistake. Let me just quickly fix that. Now, uh, as you can see in the survival mode, you can boost up. I'll just. Okay, almost half of my HP is gone. Thank you! Uh, I know I suck, don't get me wrong. I'm not uh, saying that I ever was good in, the, in these type of games. But I like to play them. That's that's kind of my uh, that's kind of my guilty pleasure, to be honest. Now onto the more stuff. Uh, multiplayer is actually good. You basically have your own castle where you send minions towards the uh, enemy's castle, and then you know go back and forth building towers, picking up uh, gold mines for the gold battle points, where where you can use to upgrade your soldiers and stuff like that. But uh, it requires great uh, strategy if you actually want to go anywhere ok 300 gold, what can I build? Uh, let's try with that, why not? and I don't have that, I, I can't think momentarily and just uh, as I started playing the first my, mul my first uh, multiplayer game I just randomly spread around towers while my uh, enemy I was fighting against just literally focused on a small uh, space and beat me to death literally uh, but aside from that, the game is really, really fun. It will take some time until you get used to creating mazes. For instance, my plan is now to make them go this way. It will kind of prolong the time they need to, do, uh, to come to the castle. And you can basically just kind of block them so they can go up, up, up. But I kind of fail that because, uh, let's face it, I'm not really good at this game. And uh, I probably never will be. But it's still fun to play. The thing I don't really like about this game is that it's mainly focused on multiplayer. I mean, I'm not the type of guy who likes to be competitive in these types of things because I suck. I can't be competitive and because look at my castle. I'm, I'm like only like two minutes into the game 
and I'm already dying. It's like it's five minutes. Okay, I'm dead. But I'll show you co-op. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to say that uh, the game has co-op, even though I haven't played it yet because none of my friends owned this game for some stupid reason, even though it's really cheap. But it can be played single play uh, in single player. I'll show you. It has one map, and it's a kind of a solid map. I played it all for like two, three minutes, didn't really bother because it's really hard, as everything else in the game. If you have no idea what the hell are you doing, so okay, I died. Valiant effort. Don't lie to me. I sucked. Now let's do the co-op thing. Host co-op. Ready and uh, play. As I said, uh, the, the only thing I don't really like about the game is that it's that focuses mainly on multiplayer, which annoys the crap out of me. I really want to. Okay, I just uh, unlocked the achievement. Uh, achievement, good. I really just want to sit back and enjoy my own ride. You know, placing towers randomly, figure out my own strategies, and uh, this game has great potential of doing that. Only if it had more single-player content. I'm not saying that the multiplayer is bad. Far from that. I know a bunch of people will enjoy actually multiplayer of this game. But uh, okay, what the hell? I have like three passages. I had only two last time. Oh, oh, well. Okay, this is my castle. I'll just build. Okay, I have a bunch of gold. Ooh. Let me just show you all these crazy types of uh, towers. Okay, this one is not my favorite, but it's really cool. It actually spawns the lava, which uh, burns enemies for periodical damage. Now, I don't need to build my arrow towers, even though I'll probably die, because uh, they're, they have like the fastest attack speed. Uh, but, uh... Okay, I have, I have like zero coverage here, so I'll just build one of these shocking things. Uh, I really, I'm fine with multiplayer content, you know, the more the merrier, but I'd also like to see some more single player stuff, you know, like additional modes, additional maps, because the thing we have now is really minimal, you know. Uh, considering that the game was released almost like half a year ago, not almost, it was half a year ago, they should be used that time to actually create some more content uh, for the players to explore, you know? If well, someone doesn't want to play multiplayer, you shouldn't force him to do that if he wants, you know, to... Okay, I need to block that path, but I have a goal. Now I realize why this is supposed to be played as a gameplay in co-op. As I said, uh, if someone doesn't want to play multiplayer, you shouldn't really force him to, if he doesn't want to. Because that's a really bad thing to do, mainly. Because some people like me just suck at multiplayer, and we, we don't want to constantly keep losing from guys, and uh, you know, boost up their self-esteem by giving our own. But I kind of understand, you know, most of the games uh, now shift toward the multiplayer much more than single player. But I still don't like it. I mean, maybe I'm being hypocrite, but uh, let let me be. What the hell? Now let's talk about a little bit of a multiplayer. I'm, I've been bashing it a lot. <laughs> not really bashing, but uh, not really seeing good things. And I I don't want to leave it at that. Multiplayer is actually pretty good. It the game lasts averagely around 20 to 30 minutes. Even if you really suck and your opponent is a really good player. Because it will really take some time uh, until you can build up uh, to actually spawn some great forces towards your enemy. Uh, the game, besides gold, that multiplayer mode also uses a thing called battle points. Battle points are used to build uh, workers in mines to gather more gold, to upgrade your units, to unlock new un uh, units, and to upgrade your castle. Now, battle points are earned by entering uh, enemies. Uh, our enemy's territory basically and the more you stay in it and the more for example if you're dealing more damage to the castle the more battle points will you uh, will you gather but uh, additionally if you the longer you stay in the enemy territory the more battle points you will earn and battle points are basically essential for winning the game the more you have then the more units can you spawn the greater units can you unlock and the more gold can you gather by pr uh, purchasing uh, the miners in the mines 
logically. But basically, I'm, uh, I'm not really trying to play anymore, as you can see I haven't built anything like 10 minutes, because it's obvious that I can do shit. So I'll just uh, kind of... I basically show you what there is to the game, uh, aside the multiplayer, maybe later on I will add some multiple features, like one small game. Uh, one small game where I, c well, I will explain you uh, how the multiplayer works, uh, how, uh, the maps that they are in, but uh, there are also 1 versus 1, 2 versus 2 and 3 versus 3 modes. There is ranked and there is uh, unranked mode. Now unranked you can play just for fun, you know, just so you can kind of uh, get in the mood for the main stuff. And the ranked is basically what it says it is. Now let me just show you Tower Wars. Mad setup. As you can see there's one, uh, 1 versus 1, 2 versus 2 and 3 versus 3. There are 4 maps in the multiplayer battle uh, buff. I don't know I, in which I played, just a moment. Yeah, I played on the Air Mag Magerardum, something like that. Then we can want your friends to play against uh, some other guys, or you can just uh, queue in really quickly by selecting a quick uh, play option. You can also uh, host match uh, to play uh, against your friends privately. But uh, that's basically it. The game, uh, even though it's really cheap and it's super fun uh, for some time, really lacks content at this stage. Uh, I'd, if I had to grade it, I'd probably give it around 6 out of 10. It's really fun, it's really cheap, and uh, it's, a good, uh, it's a good thing to have these games come up once in a while just to refresh the genre. However, for a tower defense game, it, it's disappointing that some of the maps, uh, modes from the Warcraft 3 actually had more content in the variety of enemies, towers, modes, and stuff like that. Now, this game has a great potential, as I said, but it needs to build up a single player a little bit more, maybe add some uh, cool campaign with a cool story, a little bit uh, more towers, more enemies, uh, uh, and just a little bit more content to it all. As I said, 6 out of 10, pretty solid game, if you're into this uh, stuff, you should really buy it. Uh, uh, regular cost of the game is around seven dollars uh, uh, or eight. I'm not really sure. I bought it on sale for like four bucks. It's pretty cheap. So, anyway, guys, until the next time, see you. Subscribe, comment, and like if you you know like what you see, which I doubt. Anyway.